A new competition has been launched to get school children in Cardiff engaged with the Rugby World Cup. Libraries and museums across the city have all teamed up to get the city's school children writing poems and short stories, as well as making videos for the Rugby Stories competition. It's part of the forthcoming World Cup celebrations, and Year 3 children from Adamsdown Primary School were at the launch at the Millennium Stadium. Adamsdown Primary joined the launch of this storytelling competition at the Millennium Stadium. Young people from across Cardiff are being encouraged to record their experiences of playing or watching rugby or how it affects their family. It combines all of the, uh, the disciplines and the subject areas of my job as well, culture, sport and tourism of course. Um, I'd love to see Wales become the most creative nation in Europe and by fusing together rugby and creative writing I think we can get thousands upon thousands of young people involved in this competition during World Cup. Um, yeah. Because rugby will be everywhere. We're seeing the museums are going to be putting on exhibitions all across Cardiff. It'll be everywhere because the World Cup's coming as well. We won't be able to escape rugby in 2015. It's fantastic. We're hosting eight World Cup matches, which is wonderful. And this competition will contribute to the engagement of young people in, um, in the year of rugby. And I think it's just fantastic for the museum, for the people's collection, for the people of Wales to be able to see more of our rugby heritage than they've ever seen before. In Rugby World Cup year as well, with... Uh, uh, with the, the literary word world uh, for which obviously Wales is equally famous I think in terms of uh, rugby and, 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 the, and the written word. And young children in Wales in Cardiff will be imbued with rugby, brought up with rugby from a very young age, won't they? They'll have so many stories to tell and create. Yes, yeah, fantastic opportunity. As I say, it's, uh, it's linked to Rugby World Cup, but it's obviously with the emphasis on developing creative and, 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 and literary skills as well. So it's a, an excellent initiative, I think, through, through the libraries and archives uh, of Wales, along with the Welsh Government and, and, and the Welsh Rugby Union. So hopefully we'll have some uh, pretty special uh, uh, creative uh, material at the end of it. Well, this is a wonderful way of engaging young people with rugby and with their rugby club and many of them have lived through an astonishing age in terms of Welsh rugby performance so I'm sure they'll be able to bring to their creative writing, to their entries, some of those great memories that they have. It embraces poetry, creative writing, short stories and digitisation as well which means that we're embracing the most cutting edge technology for the purpose of a creative competition. We've got a number of sort of uh, fantastic archive material uh, in, in the stadium which very often does, doesn't really see the day of uh, light of day so hopefully we'll be transferring or we will be transferring uh, some of the, the great artefacts we have uh, to the, uh, uh, the, the museum in Cardiff uh, during the period of Rugby World Cup so it'll be open for, for everybody not just Welsh people of course but people will be visiting uh, Wales for, from worldwide. The competition's finalists in poetry, short stories and video storytelling will have their stories displayed in an exhibition called Kickoffs and Keepsakes at the National Museum in Cardiff this September. And the teachers at Adamsdan Primary say the pupils at their school are keen to take part. I think it's a great idea. It relates to what's going on now, which the children you know, can see in the media. Um, they are really inspired also by rugby in the school. It links to curriculum can ride and also um, they enjoy physical education in the school at Adamsdown Primary School. So yeah, so they're really looking forward to writing some poems about this topic. Of course my children are full of ideas, so they're, they're already buzzing with things that they can, they can write in their, in their poetry. I think by getting them engaged, they're obviously they're going to watch videos, um, hopefully they're going to see some matches on TV, I'll make sure letters go home to parents so they, so they can you know, promote this at home, they're watching rugby. The build-up to the World Cup will also see memorabilia collected by the Welsh Rugby Union over the last hundred years displayed at the same exhibition. These items are currently locked away in the basement of the Millennium Stadium. It isn't open to the public, this is where we store the memorabilia of the Welsh Rugby Union. What, what we worked with was, uh, was uh, the, um, uh, the uh, the museum um, in Wales was to find a space that could preserve all of uh, all of the, the memorabilia. So we, we did pay for the uh, for the aircon system in here for it to be kept at a, a regulated temperature. Um, we just thought we'd just put it into a space for the moment. And so there's over 134 years of history within this particular space. So the World Cup is coming with up to eight games being played here in Cardiff and the organisers of this competition hope there'll be plenty of stories told ahead of the World Cup's kickoff.